hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to see another video on snowflake admin series this is dropping an account from an organization so if you remember earlier if you want to drop an account you have to uh, raise a snowflake support request and then it will take some time maybe 90 days to decommission an account but now snowflake has empowered the end customer and uh, enabling them to drop their account on their own so if you have not seen my uh, snowflake admin series uh, on organization 2.0 i would recommend you to read that because i have captured more details around this topic over there so let's start the demo so here i am in my snowflake uh, account and this account is my org admin account to drop an account you need an org admin role to be enabled without that you will not able to do so at the moment you can see that i already have org admin enabled and if i go and say show organization account so i can see uh, all the things that whatever account i have in my organization i can list down here so you can see that currently i am connected with this account which is my org admin account so if you come on the right hand side you will see that uh, there is a is org admin locator or the column which is true which means this account is my org admin enable and this is my secondary account which is not org admin enable so you can see i still holds the old url and secondary is my account which is i want to drop so what i can do i can simply say drop account account name and i have to provide a grace period and why this is important is because uh, there is a range of grace period you can provide that range from three days which is the minimum uh, threshold and the max can be 90 days so you can put the grace period of between 3 to 90 days but the idea is the more uh, the more you provide the grace period till then till that time your account will be hold and you are still um, will be means like it will be soft deleted not the hard delete which means like you can restore the account later on if you require within this threshold period but at the same time it is soft deleted so you can't use that but still you are, will be able to I mean like still you will be eligible to pay if you have any storage in this account so be cautious in choosing the grace period if you don't require them if you don't need that, that account you can put the three days but if you really think that okay maybe your uh, business user changed their mind and they want this account back so you can put that for a uh, uh, larger grace, uh, grace period and on the later stage you can also restore so uh, soon you will see my another video how you can restore that but for now just to see how you can drop is like drop account secondary and grace period 3 the moment i will drop so it says like unexpected op okay sorry i didn't select it let me execute again so you can see that it will allow me to drop the account secondary successfully drop and if i go and again do show organization account history you will see that i can still see the account but if you go on the right it will if it, there is a column called deleted on and you will see that the column has been updated by today's date and restored on column is null because i have not restored this yet but in future in future videos when i will restore you will see that restore on column will be updated with the current date of that day when i restored so this is all about today's uh, demo how you can drop the account but it's a uh, very good initiative from snowflake is like now they are reducing the dependency from snowflake support team and now your organization uh, dba or the administrator or the platform uh, team can drop their account on their own willing uh, willingness and flexibility because now they are no more dependent on snowflake support team to raise a request and then wait when this will get dropped hope you uh, find this uh, video helpful if you find this video helpful please like and subscribe to my channel thank you